everybody, so I'm going to be showing you how to do the Taylor Swift Mine official music video uh, hair tutorial and basically what I did so far was I just let my hair air dry naturally. For this video today I'm going to be using a curling iron that is quite expensive but definitely well worth it and it's called the Cortex and the reason why I like it is because it has four different um, sizes of barrels that you can use for your hair. That's why it's so expensive because it's basically like you're getting four curling irons in one. And those are all the sizes that you get and that's what the curling iron looks like. What's really nice about this curling iron is that there is a glove that's included with it and it's heat resistant so you're not going to like burn your fingers and that way you can get all the way down to the very tip of your hair and you're not going to leave anything out. It's also ceramic so it's going to heat up faster, it's going to protect your hair and it's going to give a nice shiny glossy look to your hair once you're finished. So you're just going to open the box like this, pull the lid up and that's what it looks like inside. So this is what the curling iron looks like. You turn it on here and you adjust the settings here. And here is the little glove. It's kind of like a one size fits all kind of thing, but I think it's relatively on the small side. So if you have smaller fingers, it'll probably work better. And you can adjust uh, the wrist around here and make it tighter to stay on better. For Taylor Swift's curls, I would recommend one of these two smaller ones. I'm going to be using the smaller one because Taylor Swift's curls in the video is really on the wavy side and it's very soft looking. You can tell that it's definitely been brushed out. It's, kind of, it's not really frizzy but it has the look of what curls look like when you brush them out. So that's what we're going to be doing today and by using a smaller curling iron barrel you aren't going to lose any of the curl that you made. So when you brush it out it's going to be a little bit bigger and looser of a curl. So if I was to use a bigger, a, um, a bigger barrel like this then when I brush it out it would be really wavy and you would barely have a curl. So I definitely want to use a smaller size curling iron for this. I'm going to set my curling iron to about 400 degrees just because uh, I want to do this relatively quickly and I already have a heat protectant in. But as you can see, it's slowly heating up and it's telling you So by the time it gets to 400, you'll know.
as you can see, I completely finished and it was a really quick process. It only took me like 15, 10 to 15 minutes to do my whole entire head, but that's just because I have really long hair and I have some difficult layers up top here. But um, yeah, you want to keep the side bang and kind of make it go into the rest of the hair and then you just spray it. But um, so you're just going to let your curls cool down and when you feel them and they're completely cooled down and, and what I did was I hairsprayed it with my big sexy hairspray and you really only want to hairspray it just a little bit just so that the curls will be held but you don't want to spray it too much so that when you brush it out it's not going to be soft looking you want it to be soft looking so what I'm going to do I'm just going to take a comb like this you could also take like a paddle brush or any kind of comb basically that you have and I'm just gonna lightly start brushing out the curls. There shouldn't be um, any knots because we already brushed it out before we curled it. So just lightly brush it out. And you really want to actually brush it out a lot because her curls are so soft and bouncy looking. So that's what we have so far. Can't really tell because my hair is black. I thought maybe the white background would help. There we go. Really soft curls. And then as you can tell on this side, it's still tight. You don't want them tight. You want them soft looking. And like I said, make sure your hair has completely cooled down. And you're not completely brushing all the way through it. You're just brushing out certain parts of the curls, not the whole curl. They're really soft curls. Just because I like this look, I, I'm going to tease the top a little bit just because I like it like that. So go ahead and brush the hair back. I always take like a circular section and just kind of tease downwards, focusing mostly on the root. And then you kind of fan it out. So now I've completely tease the top part you can tease it really as much as you like but I think this is about good for me so I'm just gonna take my big sexy hairspray again and just lightly do like a mist over it just on both sides so that it stays Yeah, that's basically it for my Taylor Swift inspired soft curls hair tutorial. Um, I'm actually pretty proud of this. I think it looks exactly like her hair and it's really easy to do. And the only thing that I would highly recommend is to get this uh, Cortex curling iron because it is by far the best curling iron that I have ever used. And you can find it on beautychoice.com and I also have a coupon code for you. So go ahead and check that out down in the information bar below. And I also wanted to say that I have a new website. It's a .com website and I'm so happy that I finally got one because it was definitely one of my goals I wanted to. Well, now that I have my website, I'm gonna be posting on it three to four times a week, maybe more. And you guys should definitely go check it out and visit it because I work really, really hard on it. And I'm gonna be putting from now on all of the product information, all of my opinions and thoughts on the products and everything that you want to know and more basically on my website. So go ahead and check that out and I'll put the link below too. It's foreveryearsbeauty.com and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.